How's it going? This is my name is Jesse uh, or Jesse FK on YouTube. I'm basically making this video just because I felt like it. I haven't made a video in three years or so. Just wanted to show my computer and tell people about myself a little bit and stuff I like. Anyway, I really like computers a lot and I upgrade quite often. I don't know, I'm, I might post more videos in the future. It uh, depends on if I get any sort of following at all. So I live here in Utah and I'll show you in a sec but Utah is pretty dusty. Alright now I'll show you my computer. Um, so the Asus is 25 and a half inch um, monitor. It has component HDMI, DVI, and a VGA in um, <coughs> my oops. keyboard, a little dirty. Got the um, Logitech uh, G15. I think it's the second version. First version was too big, and uh, I couldn't use the mouse and the keyboard, so I had to get something else. Then this came out, and that was perfect. Um, this is the Razer Death Adder mouse. This is an Alienware um, mouse pad that I got when I purchased the laptop before I left to Japan. As you can see, it's a little bit dusty. I This is only about a week's worth of dust here in Utah. <laughs> um, let me... I'll pull it out and show you a bit more. Alright, so this is a new case I got about a little over a week ago. I had to get it for my new build. Um, it's the Inwin Dragon Rider. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's got some nice things about it. Um, but <laughs> there's some things I don't like about it. I used to have the Antec 1200 which was just about the same size but it had uh, three it had three fans right here and they all had filters in them for intake and it had a 120 millimeter fan right here with a filter on it for intake and then it had um, a big 200 millimeter fan up here for exhaust and two 120 millimeter fans right here for exhaust as well. The, the filter is really nice on the Antec 1200. They really helped keep the dust out of there. I had to I had to clean them out about I had to clean the filters about once a week. I pretty much keep my computer on all the time. Let me open it up and I'll let you know what I got. Oh, you'll probably notice I had to <coughs> modify where the uh this has a 240 millimeter fan that comes with this in um in wind case. Well, let me open it up and I'll show you. So here is the case opened up. Um, there's the fan right there. Basically, this was way too large. And um, I have a pretty big CPU heatsink here. And so it would, it would just hit that and it wouldn't go. Anyway, um, basically my new build is the, the Sandy Bridge. Um, motherboard and I got the Maximus 4 Extreme um, which took me forever to <laughs> get um, uh, basically I had to deal with the whole fiasco I just had to wait for the motherboards to come out because Intel had that recall on the this chipset P67 chipset one thing that kinda sucked that happened when I got this motherboard is immediately when I got it, um, this heatsink that's on the Southbridge ch chipset right here um, was coming off the board about that much, and it wasn't even touching the the uh, chipset. I looked underneath and I found that there's two screws that go on the bottom of the motherboard that keep that heatsink down, and um, there was no screws there. <laughs> So I had to go to a, um, a local hardware store and find some screws that would fit. So it's got some screws that aren't made for the board, but it should be okay. They they fit just fine. So it's got the 
26 the, the Intel 2600k um, CPU um, it's got 8 gigs of this G skill RAM that runs at 2133 megahertz that's um, pretty nice um, I've got these two GeForce 460s oh about four or five months ago like <laughs> a week before they came out with the 500 series but it's okay these are pretty nice for, you know and they do the job pretty well um, it's got the creative sound blaster X dash FI you know, um, sound card so I don't use the onboard sound cards I have two I think these are the Samsung hard drives one terabyte hard drives uh, SATA 2 um, basically three 32 megabyte cache and I bought these uh, Western Digital to replace my two 500 gigs these are the Western Digital Caviar Black one terabyte hard drives uh, set of three with 64 megabytes of cache and those are pretty nice um, these are both in RAID 0 so I got this one in RAID 0 and these two in RAID 0 um, they they run pretty fast. These ones are go about. Oh, I ran some benchmarks. This one does about 220 to 240 megabytes um, a second. Read and write. These ones get to about 300 megabytes together. So that's pretty good. I know. I know these are SATA three. Although I don't think there's any. I don't think there's an official things between SATA two and SATA three on the physical hard drives. Uh, basically, I got this motherboard for the CPU, and I wanted to get the SATA 3 connectors because um, I wanted to get a solid state hard drive. So, I got a solid state hard drive right here. This is the um, Corsair P3128, which supports SATA 3. And I had it on my old motherboard, uh, my X58 motherboard, and the performance with the SATA 2 was pretty bad. Uh, it was only about 140 megabytes a second read and write, uh, which I was a little disappointed with. But as soon as I put it in SATA 3, it was able to get the specified benchmarks that they said it would get, which is 410 megabytes read, 210 megabytes write. This is my setup. I tried to do some cable management. Um, and did a pretty good job. There's, I mean, there's still some cables that I have sitting here because I have a fan controller. I got these two fans right here. Go to this fan controller right here on the back. You can see right here on the back. So I kind of use that for the, to control the speed of those fans. A couple weird things with the motherboard besides the chipset being the heatsink being off. Um, whenever I plug in. Like with these two video cards in this position, the, the one and four, um, I tried to put the sound card in the third PCIe slot and Windows wouldn't even detect it. I had to move it to the second slot for it to detect it. I'm guessing it has something to do with the, um, basically it has an NF200 series chipset so you can have this many lanes on the PCIe um, PCIe slots, and so I'm guessing that's the reason. I was just like, oh well, whatever. I'll just I'm not using that <laughs> one. I just wanted to have the sound card away from this one to get it some more breathing room. As you can see, the intake on the video card is like right above that, but it should be fine. It uh, it's, it still runs pretty cool. Um, Running uh, benchmarks pretty much at full speed, the and I have these overclocked to 850 megahertz core and 2,000 megahertz uh, for the RAM, and I can't, you can't even tell the difference between the stock speeds 
and the overclock speeds uh, temperature diff temperature wise so they still get up to about 72 degrees Celsius for this one and this one gets to about 65 um, but that just for some reason this the first one always has the most um, usage anyway um, I'll show you the back here um, I kind of wish that the you could you didn't have to put these in facing this way that they would have been facing that way so all these cables would be out of here but that didn't happen <laughs> they basically only go in this way so let me show you the back though the back is not very pretty but I'll show it to you anyway so as you can see the cable management already isn't like I didn't do that great of a job I didn't really like the way this cable, this case actually did its cable management um, just I kind of wish that they didn't even have this uh, fan here and just made it completely flat it's like with this indent so it, it'll just be a giant bulge out a little bit you know anyway I'm gonna take it off here um, Not my favorite <laughs> look in cable management. Um, you know, basically they had a lot of long, had a lot of long uh, things here. One thing that really <laughs> made me sad about this case as well was this uh, bracket um, right here. You see, the hole doesn't fit where the CPU goes. Uh, I think it would work with the X58 um, motherboards, but. I'm not sure. I, I uh, basically got this case and this motherboard the same day, so I just swapped everything out of my old case. So it doesn't look that great, uh, but it does it does the job. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. All right. Well, I'm gonna um, take this downstairs and blow it out with some canned air. As I said, it's only been a week. It's already got quite a bit of dust on it. You can just see, like, from this. <sighs> I just blew a bunch of dust away. <laughs> awesome. That's my room. Anyway. Alright. So, I forgot to tell you. Um, this is a Kingwin power supply laser series. It's a 1000 watt. I probably have a little more than I need, but not too much. I had some GTX 465s that required a bit more power than the 460s. But then I found out that the 460s, um, actually overclock a bit better they're actually newer than the 465's so I bought those and they actually they run pretty good um, oh yeah I forgot, I forgot to tell you exactly why I switched to this case I would have happily kept my ATN Tech 1200 I was really happy with it mainly for the filters <laughs> but they didn't, it didn't support an extended ATX motherboard which is what the Maximus 4 Extreme is. So I had to get a case. I didn't want to. I was contemplating getting the Corsair 800D, which is really nice, but that was twice as much as this case. <laughs> so maybe someday if I get sick of this one. Um, having the ports on the top is really not nice to me because I have it under my disc. Which in turn makes it so I have to like pull out the case in order to plug anything at the top. And I can't use my keyboard sometimes. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I may make some more later. It was kind of fun. Um, rate, comment, subscribe if you want. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.